Hey guys, it's Max Convexity. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's see how these funds are doing. All right, here's NASDAQ. This is what triple QI trades. You can see this one opened well under the profit box, but then it actually opened on the low of the day and it's been going up ever since. Hopefully by the end of the day, with any luck, it'll be into the profit zone. If it at least gets to the bottom line, that's where the profit zone starts. The very top line is the max profit. So anywhere in that box would be fine with me. So that's for triple QI. SPX is for JEPY. Now this one opened well underneath the profit box and has gone straight sideways. It's not rallied unlike NASDAQ. So that one's setting up for a pretty big, big size loser. Here is uh, Russell. This is what IWMY trades. This today is the weakest one of the bunch. Unfortunately. All right. So if we look at the spreadsheet that summarizes it, it's kind of a good news, bad news situation. Well, the good news is not a lot of good news, but the only thing you could even remotely say is good news is all this green in the first column on the left. We had a lot of green in the first column yesterday, but that means that the ETF, the high yield ETF is outperforming the benchmark. That means it's either down less or it's up more. If the benchmark's down, it's down less than the benchmark. The benchmark's up, it's up more. In any event, that's a clean sweep. So that's a nice job. Over here on the current profit and loss, it's not as nice. Um, $2.1 million uh, for an IWMY's loss, about half a million dollars on JEPY and $325,000 on triple QY. The dividend estimate, on the other hand, is running $1.18 for IWMY which is good. It was back. It was, it was low. It was under a dollar for a while. Anyway, it's back above a dollar. So I, I'm sure everyone will be happy about that. Uh, the JEPY estimate has been running. It's been running like 55, 57, 59, but it just hit 60 or actually it hit 60 the other day. So that's, it's going the right direction. Let's just say that. Uh, I know the uh, it's declaration day is coming up soon. In fact, I believe it's even, tomorrow. I'll, I'll check on that. In any event, uh, I'll have an estimate, uh, an estimating video before, before that, before that time. All right. So the, uh, the good news is the earnings per share for the month on all the funds are decent, you know, and the total, you know, revenue for the month is actually pretty good also. Okay. Uh, another good thing to look at, let's look at the buffer report. On the buffer report today, well, I liked how Tress is one of the only ones that's up. Tress, as I always say, it's a long volatility fund and it's not going to do well unless the market does poorly. Well, the market's not doing super poorly today, but it's doing kind of poorly. And you can see Tress is popping to life. If Tress will pop right up to life if you know the market does really poorly. Tress is a good a good hedge. It's a good diversifier. Okay. Bali's also up today and uh, it's saying why Maggie is now I have that. I find that hard to believe with everything else down. I bet you that's an error. I'll check by the end of the day into the single stocks though. I mean, I guess it's possible why mag could be up because it's why mag. So there's only seven stocks and it's probably one of their stocks is up something. All right. Um, Right now, at this point in time, uh, Tesla outperforming. Coney down not as much as the benchmark. Maxi down more than the benchmark, unfortunately. As is uh, MRNY, Mernie. Moderna's down 4.31. Mernie's down 4.29, basically a dead heat, which means it's not getting any buffer, which is not, the, not what you want to see if you own Mernie. It's not good. It's supposed to it's supposed to do better on the way down, and they usually do. Like look at Ybit, or look at Misty. You know, doing a lot better on the way down than the parents. Same thing with Coney. But 
not always. Sometimes it's a, uh, sometimes there's different situations. Also, this is just one day over a longer time period. They almost always uh, perform better. The yield fund almost, over a longer time frame almost always performs better than the parent asset on the way down and almost always performs worse on the way up. Okay. Let's look at some more charts here. Let's look at a chart of Coinbase. Okay, they have to have plenty of room before their strike gets blown out. Looks like they're down 2.8% today. Coney's down 1.8. Okay, well, that's fine. Market's pulling back today. Okay, Tesla's right between us two strikes. It, it has, it's Tesla's the parent company. The, the child companies are Tesla and TSLP. Anyway, these are the strikes for Tesla. I don't have the TSLP strikes on here, but those are the strikes for TSLY. Then they have an inverse fund. It does a covered put strategy. That's the strikes for this. So there are some people that own both funds. So if you own both funds, you're kind of just rooting for it to stay between the two. You just don't want a big move in either direction. So in any event, the guys that are that have both are, are doing well. Congratulations. I've been looking at some more funds. I've been branching out. AMD, yeah, it's, I should start covering AMDY. Here's NVIDIA. Man, look at that. It's on the high of the day as we speak and going higher. It just ticked to the new high of the day. I'm watching it. Oh, my gosh. Well, that is strong, obviously. Okay, well, let's look at Mr. Mr. was like that for a while, but it, it kind of cooled off. And Mr. was in that phase right, right in through here, just the parabolic phase. All right, well, Mr. still has some upside before they're capped. I mean, Mr. Misty's pulling back today about a point. Mr.'s pulling back about two points, but the market turns around. Misty has some upside left if people thinking about playing it. A little bit of upside, not a whole lot. Here's Amazon. I showed the Amazon chart earlier, and I was talking about this bull wedge, and I did it before it broke it, and I was saying it'd be nice if we could get on the other side of this bull wedge and get established, meaning – Stay up here, maybe come back and back test it, which is what it looks like it did. It looks like we came back and back tested it, and so far it's passed. So that's a that's a bullish chart pattern. So we shall see. All right, guys, I'll let you go. I'll be back after the market's closed, probably about four or five o'clock, and we'll look at a final tally on all these funds and uh, and see how we came out. All right, take care.